Hi, my name is Willie, and I had the honor of producing and directing the Road Trip Nation documentary that you're about to see, Beating the Odds. In case you don't know, Road Trip Nation basically exists to help you figure out what you want to do with your life. Uh, or even if you have an idea already of where you want to go, you know, there's still often that question of, but how do I actually get there? Um, well, that's what we're here to help with. And one of the ways that we do that is with documentaries like this one, Beating the Odds. Each of our films features a different group of people taking a road trip in one of our big, bright green RVs, and they interview people that they look up to about how they got to where they are. On this road trip in particular, we got to meet with some of the most incredible, inspiring human beings I'm sure I'll ever get to come in contact with, and I am so excited to get to share their stories and their advice with you now. Uh, so this story is all about these three, Esther, Ike, and Estefany who, you know, on paper, aren't necessarily supposed to have been able to make it to college. But even with everything stacked against them, they saw that college could be their way out. So they fought for it with everything that they had. This film is the story of these three coming together one summer to take a road trip across the country in search of advice and guidance and inspiration from people who had been through similar struggles in their life, um, but found a way through it. So thank you ahead of time so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. You don't let your circumstances or yourself stop you. That's beating the odds. And that's what I'm doing and that's what I've been doing. I'm working with the cards that I'm given trying my best with what I got. I've come really far, but there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, every person in their life um, deals with some sort of obstacle, whether it's, it's big or small, or it comes at various cycles in their life. Um, and I personally have had a handful of heavy and hard ones to kind of overcome. Sometimes you just have to remind yourself of that, of that where you were before and where you are now, and how dark that can get and how dark it was. Every day is a battle, but I have to choose to press on. Growing up, it was not easy to get into college. Growing up, I knew that I wanted to get into college, but I had a lot of things that were, that were put in my way. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get, to get to college. I knew that I was going to fight for it. I am somebody who just keeps trying. I think that's what beating the odds means. You just keep trying. No matter what life throws at you, you just get back up. And you, you keep, you beat the odds. That's what you do, you beat the odds. You at the lowest in life and you looking for the love. Welcome to that moment, so own it, so what you need of. It doesn't matter the situation, the stipulation. Always make a statement of peace, extend the invitation. Oh God, guys, this is real life. This is happening. Oh, home. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this summer, we're going to be going across the nation. Talking to people that have gone through hardships and obstacles. And went on to do incredible things in their community, but also in their own lives. You have someone like me, who's from, you know, suburbs of Wisconsin, and Ike, who's from, you know, West Virginia, and Stephanie, who's from New York. For being such different people and coming from such different places, at our core, we're all going through similar situations in life. You really do get each other. We'll be with each other in a big green RV for about four weeks. We're gonna be going across the country from sea to shining sea. I think I'll be a different person by the end of it. I really do. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Um, but don't forget, that is just the beginning of the larger story. Next up, We'll get a dive deeper into the powerful backstories of Esther and Ike and Stephanie, and you'll just learn more about where these incredible people are coming from and what they're looking for on this road trip. So be sure to check that out. Uh, and I'd like to thank ACT Center for Equity and Learning for fueling this road trip. You guys are amazing, thank you. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.